Hi guys, let's see today's question. So today's question is from the topic of integration and that says integral cos x dx when I divide it by sine cube x and 1 plus sine raised to 6x the whole raised to 2 by 3 that is given to us as a function multiplied with 1 plus sine raised to 6x raised to 1 by lambda plus c and plus c if you know it is constant of integration we need to find the function f of x as well as lambda and then we need to find the value of lambda multiplied with function of pi by 3, right? So let's understand how to solve this type of questions. So first thing what I will do is I'll try to solve this integral which is given to me and we'll try to frame in this form. So if I write it, integral cos x dx upon sine cube x and 1 plus sine raised to 6x, the whole raised to 2 by 3. So first thing I understand is I can substitute sine x as t, right? Because the derivative that is cos x dx is present in the numerator. So cos x dx is equal to dt. I can directly write it. Sine cube x, as you have understood, sine x is t. Sine cube x is t cube. 1 plus sine raised to 6x. So I can write it as 1 plus t raised to 6 divided or power 2 by 3. Now, further, if I want to solve this, what I'll do is, I'll try to take this t raised to 6 also out from that bracket of 2 by 3, okay? So, if I want to take it out from the power of 2 by 3, what I can do is, I can take t raised to 6 out. So, it will become 1 by t raised to 6 plus 1. But that whole thing is raised to 2 by 3. So, if I want to take that t raised to 6 out from the power of 2 by 3, what I can do is t cube t raised to 6, the power 2 by 3. So 2 by 3 into 6, if you see, it is 12 by 3, that is 4. So t raised to 4, it becomes and it comes out. And the expression which is present inside the power 2 by 3, I can write it as 1 upon t raised to 6 is t raised to minus 6 plus 1, the whole raised to 2 by 3. Now, again, if you see, I have 1 upon t raised to 7, t raised to minus 6 plus 1, the whole raised to 2 by 3 dt. So if you understand this t raised to 7 which is present, I can substitute t raised to minus 6 plus 1, the entire expression as a new variable, let's say u, because if you see the derivative of this, it is n into x raised to n minus 1. So minus 6 t raised to minus 6 minus 1, that is minus 7 dt, derivative of 1 is 0, right? And so if I write it in terms of this, now I know 1 upon t raised to 7 dt, I can write it as, so 1 upon t raised to 7 dt, I can write it as du upon minus 6. So I can write it as du upon minus 6. This entire expression, we have put it as u. So it becomes u raised to 2 by 3. Further, if I take it out, it becomes minus 1 by 6, integral of u raised to minus 2 by 3 du. That gives me minus 1 by 6, u raised to minus 2 by 3. So if you know integral of x raised to n, that is x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus c, right? So this also becomes u raised to minus 2 by 3 plus 1 and minus 2 by 3 plus 1 plus c. So minus 2 by 3 plus 1, I can also write it as 1 minus 2 by 3. So it becomes minus 1 by 6, u raised to 1 by 3 upon 1 by 3 plus c. So 3 ones, 3 2 times. So that gives me minus half. u we had substituted as t raised to minus 6 plus 1. The whole raised to 1 by 3 plus c. Now, further. t raised to minus 6, the answer which we got, I'll write that. So minus half t raised to minus 6 I can write as 1 upon t raised to 6 plus 1. 1 by 3. So minus half 1 plus t raised to 6 upon t raised to 6 raised to 1 by 3 plus 6. Now minus half 
we had substituted sin x as t. So if I resubstitute, I can resubstitute t as sin x, right? So it becomes 1 plus sin raised to 6x, whole raised to 1 by 3, divided by sin raised to 6x again, and that's also raised to 1 by 3. So if you understand, this becomes minus half. This becomes sin square x because 6 and multiplied with the cube root. So 6 into 1 by 3 is 2. And we are left with 1 plus sine raised to 6x, the whole raised to 1 by 3 plus c. And if you understand the question which was said to us that it is looking like this. So if I compare this with the answer which we have got. So it was given to us that it is equal to f of x, 1 plus sine raised to 6x, whole raised to 1 by lambda plus c. So if I compare this, what is the f of x I get? Minus half and sine square x. And if you see the lambda here is 3, right? So now if I want to find out the value of lambda in f of pi by 3, I can write lambda as 3 and function of pi by 3, I will substitute x as pi by 3 here. This gives me minus half sine square x if I want to write it, it is nothing but sine square of pi by 3 and pi by 3 is nothing but sine 60. So sine 60 is root 3 by 2. So square of root 3 by 2. That becomes minus 3 by 2 and 1 upon root 3 by 2 square becomes 3 by 2. This gets cancelled. So you are left with minus 4 by 2 that is minus 2. And the answer which we get for this question is minus 2. If you see the options which are presented to us in the question, let's see that. So the options which matches with the answer which we have got is D. Right? So the correct answer for this question is option D. I hope you have understood the type of integration question which we have solved here, where we require to substitute the variables into some other variables two times, right? So it becomes simpler to solve the question further. And after getting the answer, we just need to compare them with the right hand side given to us in the question. So we get f of x as well as lambda. And then we get the value for the things which have been asked to us. I hope you have understood this well. We'll meet again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe if you're finding this helpful. Thank you.